Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new series on my channel. I'm going to be playing Mafia Definitive Edition. Now, personally, this is one of my favourite games of all time. Yes, you heard that right. Of all time. Now, I was originally going to be playing the Warriors, but unfortunately, it runs like crap on the PlayStation 5, so I'm going to have to wait until my capture card arrives and I can play it on the PS3 backwards compatible. So, apologies for that, guys. You know... A lot of people were interested in my Deadpool series. It's actually the best performing series on my channel so far. So I sort of wanted to keep up the, the nostalgia with the games. But unfortunately, I can't do that yet because Manhunt, The Warriors, Bully, they all run like crap on PS5, unfortunately. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to play a game that's about three or four years old. That's a personal favourite that I'm going to have a bunch of fun playing. Hopefully this series does well. If it doesn't, not the end of the world. As long as you guys enjoy watching this, that's what matters. And obviously, I'm going to be having a bunch of fun. So anyway, we're going to go straight into the game. I have had to turn off the music because, you know, licensing issues and demonetization. Even though I don't monetize my videos, I literally have them switched off. I don't want the chance of them being not available in other countries. That actually happened with my GTA videos. I uploaded them, the radio was playing in the background, and it wasn't shown in specific countries, so that's a bit odd. But anyway, we're going to go new game, and we're going to overwrite that. We're going to go to medium difficulty, so obviously we've got easy, which, basic challenge, enemies are less effective, strong aim assistance, please respond to fewer crimes. Uh, low aim assistance, please respond to fewer crimes. Enemies are more dangerous, please respond to more crimes. Fewer UI indicators, and then classic, which is enemies are lethal. Please respond to more crimes, fewer UI indicators, and ammunition left in the clip is lost when reloading. So that actually sounds like a really good mode to do. But what I'm going to do for now, just to give you the best experience possible, is I'm going to go for medium difficulty. Now, if I do change the difficulty, I will let you guys know. Wow, I'm so sorry this intros took so long, but just wanted to explain myself briefly. So medium difficulty. Um, okay, aim assist is low, drive and regular, automatic, even though I drive manual, it just makes sense for a game. Police response regular, skip drive, nope, we're not going to skip any driving, because we're going to just enjoy crashing into a load of things, because my driving in games is awful. But anyway, let's get it!
Tommy. Thomas Angelo, Detective Narman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respect in badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. Well, if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, uh, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. I always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is, you got someone powerful mean on your tail, and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss. Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Christ, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed the heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! Questions. 
We need to get over the river. Take the Giuliani Bridge. Oh, okay. Wait, was I supposed to get rid of those guys up there? Hurts like hell. When we're back, I'll wake up the doc. I don't know, it might be okay. Just get in the call anyways. Hey, I see you listening, Cabby. You don't get to listen either. All I'm doing is taking you guys where you want to go. So do that. I'm not sure if I was supposed to get rid of those guys that quick. Hey, shut your mouth, lad. Shut your mouth. Okay, we're at the river. Where am I taking you once we're over the bridge? I'm getting tired out of questions. Kind of still getting used to the driving when... I mean, that's expected. I've been only driving for about a minute in the game, but because it handles quite heavy, I'm... Press X to ram on vehicles. Boom! Ram you into the bomb. Oh shoot. It's fucking go, boys! See ya, bitch. That was your shortcut. I lost it, didn't I? Not all of them! These guys really don't like it, do they? Sometimes business partners fall out. It happens. Quit yapping, Polly. Oh shit! Oh! More chance of him not seeing the sun come up. I ain't heard a thing, fellas. I'm sorry to the lady I just crushed. Okay, so we should get rid of that one. Here we go. Let's do it. Right, press options to open up the map. gonna find me let's see hang on so it shows the way it's facing we should be able to speed past I'm hoping I'm hoping it's true so yeah this car does handle kind of heavy oh shit here we go uh, no oh I'm sorry <laughs> just side swipe with the car so I'm not used to driving these vehicles Here we go, boys. Strap in. Just sit tight and pray. Never done that before. Me neither. Okay, so little Italy. Now, your night's not over. What a night. I didn't see this coming. You think he squealed? I think you zip it tight. We talk it through back at the bar. Come on, guys, I'm just trying to do an anonymous night's work. Do you really have to rope me into this? Really? Unless there's money and boobies. Because what's more valuable, okay, money or boobies? Close. Pull over in front of that bar. Salieri's place. Yeah, that's the one. Wait here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not?
compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you wanted a poker. The scratches on your car, you swerved to keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? No, of course. See you around, kid. When I opened the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. Money was good, sure, but I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. Okay. That was quite a quick chapter. <laughs> Any time today. Come on. Load the game. Run the man. Oh, what a movie. What a After movie. I was Celieri's guys. I was back working as soon as I could. But it felt different. You get a lot of time with your thoughts when you're a cabbie. And other people's thoughts, too. You there, driver? Yes, ma'am. Are you driving or loitering? Driving, ma'am. Always driving. We should dump her ass. Driving or loitering? How about an allocated break, you ho? Hurry, I have an appointment. You know what? I might just stand here and make you miss your appointments. How's about that? Go fuck yourself. Well, what are you waiting for? I I hate this woman already. Saint Michael's Church, directly. Careful, please. I always drive careful. Then you'd be the first. So, tap to turn on the speed limiter. Okay. So they had that in Mafia 2 and Mafia 3, but I didn't know if they actually had it in this game as well. Considering this game originally was on the PlayStation 2 and it came out 21 years ago. About 20, 21, so, 22 years church. ago. It's Sunday already. Eyes on the road, please. Okay, just trying to make conversation. Do you ever hate that, like, sometimes when, you know, you, you just want to sit in silence and the taxi driver's making conversation? I mean, I get it. People are going to spend all day in the car driving you, driving you and other people about. They're going to want someone to talk to, otherwise it's just going to be awkward and boring. Because personally, if I was driving a taxi, I'd chat people's heads off. I mean, look what I'm doing now in my free time. I'm recording gameplay and talking into a microphone in hope that you guys are going to watch it and actually listen to me, so yeah, I'd probably do the same as the taxi driver, but Tommy's just being polite, that woman's being a bitch. I think we should... I think we should just throw her into a river. I was about that. Is this good enough for you? Yeah. Here you go, St. Michael's. That'll be 30 cents. The only tip I'll give you is to stop smoking in your vehicle. I felt like I was sitting in an ashtray. Sure, whatever you say. Smoke you with these fists in a minute if you're not careful, love. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. What was that racist remark? Oh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I didn't know that would fail a mission. Oh, no way. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, please don't make me do that fair again. If it does, I am so sorry. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, 
I was just trying to get a bit of payback for a little racist remark. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I, I need to say. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I'm cool. I'm calm. I'm not collected. <laughs> I don't. Oh, oh. Right, come on. Oh, he, right, he dived in the way of the car. Uh, You've seen that, guys. I was driving on the road and he was like, you know what? I see a car coming. I'm going to jump in the way of it. That was not my fault. I mean, <laughs> the first one, yeah, the bitch deserved to get run over. But the second time wasn't my fault. So, right, I'm going to reverse out this way just to be careful. I did have the option earlier while I was driving away from those enemies to look at the map. So it is quite a generous sized map considering you've got to think. Don't look at it as a modern game. Look at it as this was a game that released on the PlayStation 2. So there isn't tons of stuff to do in the open world. Nothing like that. It was a straightforward game. It's about between 6 to 10 hours long depending on obviously how long you take to do the missions. For us, it's going to take a fucking long time. Um, okay, so where does I need to go to? Oh, so this whole area is just Lost Heaven in general. I think it's, um, I don't know if it's based on Chicago or New York. I'm pretty sure it's based on Chicago. I uh, could be wrong in saying that because I've never been to America. So if you look on the mini-map there on the right-hand side, there is a little white diamond. Gonna assume, yeah, okay, so that is to get our fares. Okay. Come on, hop in, lad. Hopefully you're not a twat. Hopefully this guy's a bit nicer. Our gallery. Give me there quick. Sure. Quick I can do. Any pedestrians? No. Oh, they can okay. Out. What's it to you? Not much. Just talking. I'm paying you to drive, so do that. Okay, we've actually got a time limit this time, so okay. he doesn't want us to drive quick. The problem with this downturn is that it's made people lazy. Giving them an excuse. The work's not out there, pal. The work is always there. You just have to find it. I get it. You're a busy guy. I don't see so many these days. I saw this crapshoot depression coming. Saw that before the crash. So yeah, I get to be busy. Your busy day is gonna be looking at old paintings? I have a business meeting there with a car right now. Not that it's anything to do with you. If you ever find a real job, then maybe you'll understand. Until then, drive and quit bothering me. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Why are all the people just assholes? Like, dude, I will chuck you out of this taxi on this bridge. Do not try me. Kind of worrying that I was driving on the curb again, nearly hitting another pedestrian. And I've got my driving test booked for the 5th of October. And, it, hang on, let's uh, do the speed limiter just to be safe. Hang on, how did I, how did I do the speed limiter? I, I forgot how to do it. Okay, yeah, I've completely forgot how to do it already, so... Let's just make sure we're going about 20, 30 miles an hour. Not sure what the speed limit laws are in America. Uh, most of the time in England they are 30 miles an hour, but they are changing a lot of the roads to 20 miles an hour. And a lot of people are having uproar about it because, you know, it's going to take a bit longer to get everywhere. But at the end of the day, uh, I can understand their frustration, but I can also understand that, you know, safety first, basically. Oh, but... Hang on, I'll mention it in a sec after I let this douchebag out. Oh, nice that taxi is. I'd love one of those cars. Here's 50 cents. Don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to. Oh, cheers. I might be able to get, you know, a pack of sweets or something with it. Every fair today's been a son of a bitch. On to the next. Right, here we go. Let's avoid mowing down any pedestrians this time. Right. Are you gonna be nice this time or are you gonna be an asshole? He looks like a mafia dude. He's gonna be nice. Oh boy, you look like shit. I've been working since five. What's your excuse? Moose. Figures. Where are we going? Little Italy, 21st Street. Okay. If I don't tell the cops about the liquor on your breath, you don't tell them when I break the limit. Good deal. Great deal. Got any good fares today? Yeah, some. But never enough of them. 
who's got the money for cab rides since the market tanked and it all went to shit, I guess. Only reason I got you taking me places is I'm drunk and don't know better. Cops see enough drunk fellas. They're only after the people moving it and selling it. Yeah, but I've seen them go after guys for less. Guess so. If they think they can shake something out of you, they will use any excuse. <clears throat> this city's corrupt as all hell. Sure is. I actually forgot that during the Depression era, they did outlaw alcohol, like the whole sale and distribution of alcohol. Well, sale and distribution, and then off the same thing, aren't they? Yeah, obviously, I was not born. Don't you dare step out on the road, bitch. Yeah, I always forget because obviously it's well before my time, but it is an interesting era and it makes fantastic games. Tell him Lucio sent you. Take a break, huh? Thanks. Might just do that. Hey, how you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go help in Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while. Eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. Shit, let's go, boys. Oh, no. Okay. All right, triangle to vault. Let's not crouch. Not a good idea. Oh. Move. Move, boys. Move. Oh, no, I just got shot. Oh, no. My arm. Right, quick, boys. Let's go. Right, where are they? Oh, man. Move. Come on. Come on. Come on, Tommy. Move and use those legs. Work your ass like a keg. Climb up here. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just massively skipped over like a whole climbing animation. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was. Why? How did he climb that quick? Oh shit, I forgot to sprint. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please give us a fighting section. I really want to beat the shit out of them. Here we go. Come on. Look at this. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou! You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you gotta say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> hey, thanks. At least we could do. Come on, let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. <laughs> <laughs> 